What's up guys, I'm here to talk about three key points of how to win gunfights. You know, I think about making this a series for you guys, but for today I'm going to go over three main points to help you win gunfights in Apex Legends and also, you know, give you some in-game commentary of what I was thinking, what I did throughout the throughout this game and and we'll go from there. All right, so main the first three key points that I'm going to talk about in the video our awareness being proactive before engaging the fight and using long-range weapons um, you see here starting off you have the longbow on uh, devotion all right so I see my my two teammates they take down one enemy uh, he immediately goes down so, so obviously that's the end of his squad now talking about with awareness guys when you're in into a fight um, the biggest thing is that have communication with your teammates uh, either through voice chat or using the ping system um, whether it's squad versus squad no worry if it's just your squad against another team squad or as you see here I used to, we already see two teams fighting each other and so we go in we try to third party them um, try to take out one of the teams alright um, you see here one of my teammates, he's fighting an opponent. I come in on the other side, and then I knock down um, one of the enemies, and then we both take out all right this team right here. Uh, King and third party. So as I just mentioned, all right, and also guys, location on your map. So obviously here, you see that we're that we're in Skull Town, right? And obviously everybody loves to put Skull Town. It's like Tilted Towers or Fortnite. Um, Skull Town gets a lot of action. Um, beginning game mid game and sometimes end game and um and one thing one of my key points i know with skull town is that you gotta take out enemies quickly all right loot and then rotate to the next spot otherwise you're gonna get jumped or as you see here another team comes in and pushes us all right so see i throw a couple of stars um you see here i was able to stun one opponent i come in i down him um, and so again to reiterate for awareness again communication with teammates um, is it just your squad against another squad or do you see two teams fighting and can you third party and location on the map and also whether your ultimate is charged or not or when when or where or if you're going to use it um, obviously see, yeah, I still have mine charge up and I decide not to use it so I hold off. I uh, hold off on using my ultimate, and um, I'll probably t t t take another video to talk about when to use your ultimate for your character. But in this situation, I decide not to use it. All right. The second thing, guys, is being proactive. Um, attacking the enemy first. You want to set yourself up for success. Uh, damage the team without them engaging or fighting back against you. Um, like I previously mentioned, using long range weapons, grenades, see if you can get good positioning, get high ground, um, and also spacing guys. Um, you want to have create space between you and your teammates. You don't have, you don't want to be standing right next to your teammates because then uh, the other team, they can just pick you guys apart. Alright, so you see what happened here. Uh, I had my long blow out. I was able to take out opponent that was on the roof. He did not know where I was at, so I was able to use my sniper. All right, down him, eliminate him. All right, and then go from there. You see here, we're firing another team. Um, I use my devotion. I'm right, moving around. I'm hip firing too. Uh, also, hip firing means you're not aiming down sight. Um, it's one one skill that you guys definitely can use to your advantage. Um, and what I suggest if you want to help improve your hip firing, you know, download Counter Strike if you're on PC and play that. Um, that's a game to where you can get some weapon working your hip firing. That's what helped me with my hip firing um, skills in Apex Legends. So, again, just to reiterate by being proactive, attack the enemy first. You want to set yourself up for success. All right, and also have a good position in space. It's kind of the same thing in football and basketball. All right, we can't have you can't have five all five players right under the goal or right next to each other in basketball. So 
So kind of like how the Warriors play, where everybody's spread out, they pass the ball around, everybody's where it's supposed to be. You want you want to be like that. Um, you don't want to be all bunched up, you know, standing right behind um, your teammates. Try to create some space. Try to create some good position. Um, now the last part for number three is the use of long range weapons. Um, so they made an update to a patch back in back in early April to promote to promote players using long range weapons more. And it's definitely one thing that with this meta that you guys have to adjust to. And definitely like I said, for those that try to get those high damage or high kill gains, from what from my experience what I learned recently in using, using like the long bow, the triple take, I right, definitely helps you out a lot to uh, to get you know get those damage badges that, that people are are working towards. So again, so again using the longbow, the chipper tape, it ties back to being proactive. Alright, so you see here, I see a pawn that is sitting in the window. I pick him off, I hit him for 150 total damage. And even if I'm not finishing them, my thought process is that you know I take it down their shield the shield, excuse me. So they have to use their meds, um, and so you use the meds, use the healing, use the shield batteries. So either way, even though I'm not finishing them, they know my presence, and I'm making them use their resources. All right, so they're aware of them. So they're aware um, that I do have a long-range weapon. All right, so they can't just, you know, for the most part, push me. You see here, they go back in, stand in the window again. They don't know where I'm at, so I keep picking them off. All right, I'm not staying in the same spot where I was. I repositioned. I was staying on top of the roof earlier. I come back inside this house. I reposition. So now they don't know where I'm at. All right. Um, and then, like I said, it, it can take down enemies or eliminate the enemies, like you saw earlier in the video, all right, to give yourself a numbers advantage. And so going back to time with awareness, you know, having that numbers advantage. If you know that you down somebody or one of your teammates down a person, so okay, you got caller A is three versus two, or it's three versus one, or it's um, two v one, etc. All right, those are key communication where you uh, you can decide to push enemy guys, to push an enemy. All right, guys. All right, so you see here, I use the air balloon to kind of get a higher ground to see where everybody is. All right, I reposition. I own this house here. I use my smoke for um, for camouflage, so they don't try to hit me as I heal. All right, so we took care of that other person that was that we were fighting earlier. They died in the storm. So now we see we decided to push to the team. I try to get some shots for my devotion. I obviously you know was on the for that time. All right, but now we're, we're pushing. Open the door. I push this Bangalore. All right, she just jumped up and down like she got ants to pan or jumping, jumping, jumping up and down. All right, she gets down. One of my teammates get down. I don't try to go in and revive them. I know that we got two opponents down. So now going back to the numbers game, guys, now it's a two versus one. So now the 2v1, I know it's this person that have a peacekeeper. So I try to keep my distance. All right, I spray down a couple of shots on them. You see here, and that's how it, that's how I win the game. So to review, guys, the main three key points to help you win a gunfight are awareness, being proactive, and using long-range weapons. All right, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you like what you saw in the video, or if you want to see more commentary commentary like this.